Nepal Telecom has been planning its FIVIG rollout for years, but the state-owned company keeps putting it off. Experts say that FIVIG, which stands for Fifth Generation Mobile Technology, is expected to be roughly 10 times faster and to support 10 times more devices per square kilometer than its predecessor Forg. The latest on the launch is that it should be soon, but officials say they have no definite date. We are not in a position to say when, said Ranjit Lohia, deputy spokesperson for Nepal Telecom. At one time, authorities had been scrambling to make Nepal the first country in South Asia to offer super fast connectivity. On November 20 to 2021, Nepal Telecom received the Petrum allotment and trial permission from the regulator. It started preparations for FIVIC trials by forming a task force in mid-December. Utility has made a habit of over-promising on the FIVIC rollout. Industry insiders say Nepal Telecom has announced several end dates for FIVIC trials, but they have always been postponed for no apparent reason. In February 2019, Nepal Telecom had contracted to Chinese companies, Hong Kong-based China Communications Service, International Accept and Tees, one of China's leading telecom equipment manufacturers for a Srinsenet Bill and Forg expansion project throughout the country. T supplied the equipment while Huawei supplied the radio equipment. The task of installing and testing Forg was entrusted to Xi as part of the agreement. Tease and Huawei would also provide equipment to conduct FIVIG trials for free. As per a top source at Nepal Telecom, FIVIG tests have been delayed because the company has not paid the contractor for the fork project. The document obtained by the Post shows that on June 190, 2022, Xi had written to Nepal Telecom requesting it to settle the outstanding bills. We have been reminding Nepal Telecom and reiterated in writing on different dates and verbally in almost all meetings about the critical financial situations that we are facing due to the development of fund deficit after the expenditure exceeded the budget allocated for those contracts. The letter said he led Xi to face the acute project financial crisis impeding Xi to move forward with the project implementation activities including operation and maintenance of services. We have also intimated Nepal Telecom in our previous letters that Xi will not be liable for all the consequences that may arise due to the suspension of the works due to fund deficit. The letter said Xi said that after May 4,000 to 102, processing of only to payment claims out of 20 pending payment claims has been completed. The post could not independently verify the actual outstanding payments. Shaban Adhikarik. Spokesperson for Nepal Telecom denied Xer's claim. Non payment to the supplier is baseless. We have already settled the payment issue. Nepal Telecom has been saying that it has not been able to begin FIVIC trials as there weren't adequate devices in the market that support the tests. We are still preparing for the tests as there are few devices in the market that can operate FIVIC at 2600. Most frequent, Adhikarik said, but industry insiders say that is a baseless excuse, at least to government officials. One retired of the post spoke to suspect the CG rollout may have been caught up in geopolitics. Looking at global trends, perhaps there could be some American pressure as well, said a retired senior Nepal Telecom officer who refused to be identified him. Chinese networking giant Huawei has been banned in the United States, the European Union, and the United Kingdom over fears that Beijing could piggyback on the technology and spy on user countries. Geopolitics in Fivigo that's baseless. Too said Adikarik, Nepal Telecom had planned to launch Fivig trials in January, but it was postponed again. The telecom utility then said the test would begin after two weeks, but again nothing happened. We have been conducting FIVIC trials internally for the past three months before going public, but we don't know when FIVIC trials will come to the public, said Lohia. Telecom regulator has allocated 2600 must frequency band to Nepal. Telecom to conduct the trials. The company plans to conduct trials. One location in each of the seven provinces. After the piloting is completed, it will seal a global tender to buy equipment for FIVIG. Cost analysis will also be done at that time. There are some internal politics too. There may be some political interest in the project. 
said an official at a private telecom company, the Nepal Telecommunications Authority is recommended to the Communication Ministry that the private sector to should be allocated FIVIG spectrum through a competitive process. As the Secretary of the Communication Ministry chairs Nepal Telecom, it's obvious he want to bring the private sector on board for market competition, said the official. Competition will ultimately benefit customers. In September 2021, private telecom company Sinal wrote to the Nepal Telecommunication Authority seeking approval for FIVIG network trials. The regulator replied that the Radio Frequency Policy Determination Committee would review Sinal's FIVIG plan, but there has been no response so far. Sinal has been saying that the company can go for a public trial within six months of approval. Gorigiri, Joint Secretary of the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology, said the telecom regulator had been urging Nepal Telecom to start reels for the public soon. The company has also been saying that they are prepared for I. Private telecom service providers will be allowed to conduct FIVIG trials as soon as the spectrum price is determined. As we have a technology-neutral policy, we do not differentiate between service providers. He said, Nepal Telecom was allocated the frequency for free being a state-owned company, but it is not possible to provide frequency for free to private telecom service providers. Officials said, as the government plans to hold a FIVIG spectrum auction, private operators said it may take another one to years for them to get approval for trials. There is still no working procedure to involve the private sector in the FIVIG project. The FIVIG project was delayed right from the beginning. First, there was a delay in allocating spectrum with changes in government. During the Sherbahadir Dube administration, the communication ministry was without a minister for a long time. The COVID lockdowns appeared as a major obstacle because imports came to a total halt, said spokesperson. Adikarik Nepal Telecom has been delaying the launch of FIVIG. We have asked reason behind the delay, said Amber Shafit. Director of the Nepal Telecommunications Authority. The last time Nepal Telecom announced the start of CG trials was during the company's anniversary on February 5. It has deferred the plan. Shapit said the company has not reported to the authority about its next date. According to the latest management information system report of the authority, 95.79% of the total population uses mobile broadband in Nepal. It translates to 27.96 million subscribers. Nepal Telecom has a total of 18.95 million mobile broadband users, where 7.26 million are 3 users, 11.55 million are 4 users, and 136,573 are EVDO users. Similarly, Sinal has a total of 8.88 million mobile broadband users, where 1.93 million are 3 users and 6.95 million are 4 users. Smart Telecom has a total of 127,551 subscribers to its fork service.